Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? In today's video, I will be showing you how to create a smooth boxed, sim create a simple yet professional boxed type, create a sme 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 <laughs> in today's video tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a smooth, simple boxed title in Adobe After Effects. If you're looking for templates and you don't want to spend the time in making one, you can always visit creatorgalaxy.com where you can find a bunch of awesome titles. Creatorgalaxy.com is the one-stop shop full of presets, packs, templates. And the most important thing is that we want to keep all the prices super affordable so everyone has a chance to create epic videos. So, 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 so. Here we are in Adobe After Effects. The first thing that we want to do is create a new composition. I'm going to call it main comp. Uh, uh. So we want a main comp with full HD resolution and 30 frame rate and maybe 10 seconds long. Click OK. And I'm also going to make sure that the background color is white just um, because we are going to be using black text uh, kind of style. So it's going to be easier to see what we're working with. I'm going to fit this so it fits my screen and ends away it doesn't have to zoom in too much here. Thanks. Now we take our horizontal type tool and we're going to type something. Create. And then align it to the center using the tab right here. If you don't see that, go to window, align. So the next thing that we want to do is animate our title to come in from character to character in a kind of upward, kind of wavy look, which is really cool and really smooth. smooth. Just make some pee pee poop pops and... No, it's very smooth. No, I'm going to very continue. Simple, very professional. It's very professional, very smooth, very simple, but not as advanced as our awesome templates on creatorgalaxy.com. But yeah, <laughs> boy, those are from another level. Okay, so let's continue. We're going to click over here and make sure that we don't have anything selected in our composition and then we can create a rectangle. So we'll just drag a rectangle around the size of our text, uh, just like this, and then bring it below our text, but now we can't see our text anymore because it's black. So we're gonna click on that and make it white. And there we go. And we're also going to recenter our rectangle here. And this already looks pretty clean. So we're going to click on our text and go to animation. And here we wanna go to animate the text and the position of our text. In the beginning, it's going to give you a range selector. So we have our position and we just want to bring this down here and then it's gone in the white, but it's not actually gone because if we disable the, or if we just make a transparent layer, we can see our text right here. So let's concentrate on it uh, from this view so we can see what we're doing. We want to go into the range selector and here we can play around with the start. So we're going to click on the stopwatch for the start, go to two seconds, and set it to 100%. And if we're going to play that back, we have something like this. It's a little bit too slow, so we're gonna set this at one second. And that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to right click, go to keyframe assistance and go to easy ease in. And we go into the graph editor and bring this in a little bit more so we have a more pronounced animation here and it comes to a slow stop at the end. If you think it's a little bit too slow, we can still kind of tweak it and move it more towards the beginning. But now we have our animation for our text in. The next thing we wanna do is animate our shape layer as we also want some dynamic movement in the background and just all these complicated things together makes up for a more complicated scene and makes it look a lot more professional. So we're going to click on that and press S on the keyboard for the scale property and we're going to uncheck the uniform scale. Then we're going to set this to zero over here and click on the stopwatch for the scale, move forward in time and set it to 100%. So now we have something like this. Of course, it's scaling from the center. So what we wanna do is make sure that we take our pen behind tool and click on this cross, hold control, and we're going to put it right here on the bottom. So you're going to feel a snap to the bottom part here and then it's going to scale just like that, which looks a little bit more complicated as well. Right click, keyframe assistance and easy ease in. We're going to do a graph editor as well and also bring it in here. So we have a smooth animation up. Then we're going to offset our text layer with the selection tool and just move it off a little bit off time here so 
the rectangle comes in first and then the text. Maybe a little bit faster here. And that's pretty cool. I actually want the text also to have an easy ease out here. And we're also going to animate that a little bit like so. And a little bit longer. And that's pretty cool. And this one also a little bit longer. Another thing that I've done to make it look a little bit better is I went to the shape here, press P on the keyboard and click on stopwatch for the position, go to the beginning of my timeline and also move it a little bit more to the bottom. So we have an animation up while it's scaling in the frame and it's going to look a little bit more like a 3D animation. Then we're going to select the last keyframe, keyframe assistance and easy ease out. We're going into the graph editor or easy ease in, I'm sorry, there we go and also drag this off so we have a nice smooth position up trans uh, position up animation in i don't know so we have something like this okay so that's looking pretty cool um now what we want to do is use that shape here to actually control our text here so we are going to duplicate our shape layer edit duplicate it and bring it on top toggle the switches until you see the track mat options here and then we're going to click here for text and choose alpha matte, which is going to look at that layer above and use it as a reference to show uh, itself on top of the rectangle and it's uh, not going to show the rectangle. So if we're going to take away the rectangle here in the background, you're going to see it gets cut off here and it gets animated in wherever we are in that rectangle. So that's really cool and it looks like it's kind of getting into the rectangle. But again, to give it a little bit more of a dynamic feeling, we want to add a transform effect. So we're going to add a transform and then also uncheck the uniform scale and the scale height. We're going to bring this down until somewhat like here or a little bit less. And that way our text is going to animate in, but already like within the rectangle. And that makes it look a little bit more like a depth. Uh, it's going to bring a depth to our title. And then of course we want to toggle the switches and enable motion blur for all the layers and then see what we have here. We have something like that. That's really cool. So once you have that here, we can go back to our title, press U on the keyboard and create another keyframe and set it to zero at the end here. So now we have it animating in, animating out. Just make sure that the timing is correct. But now one important step we have to do is go and open up the animation for the text again. And for the position, we wanna go one frame before we start here. We wanna create a stopwatch and then move forward. And this time we wanna bring it into a negative value. So it's actually going to move up so it's coming from the bottom, now it's moving up. Okay, we're going to trim it here. And for this one as well, trim it. And right here, we're also gonna trim it so we have a little bit more of a visual. And then it's up to you to obviously just, we can color code these, duplicate them on top and kind of bring these over. And right when these goes off, we are going to introduce the new one here. Maybe a little bit slower. And there we go. And duplicate it again. Bring it on top. And there we go. So we're going to preview this. And of course, if you bring all of these keyframes closer to each other. You can just select all of them, right? Pressing U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes. You select all of them, hold Alt, bring these all closer to each other. And then again, we can trim these over here. And at the end, if you're satisfied with the result, you can always create a new adjustment layer on top of that, add a transform effect and just play with the skew to get something like this. 
If you followed this tutorial and came up with something nice, definitely post it on Instagram and tag me at Ineas Alea, and I would love to see what you come up with. All right, so that's how to create a simple, smooth, boxed, title in Adobe After Effects. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and hit the notification bell to stay notified when we upload new videos. Also, check out our website, creatorgalaxy.com. We offer a bunch of awesome stuff for any digital creator. And if you buy something from our website, it also helps to support this channel. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye. You want to know how to create an epic intro? I'm going to help you out. I got you. I got your back. Do I see some smudge on the lens?